do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students in this video we'll be discussing about the tension in a conical pendulum what is the tension that is developed in the strain so we will uh, discuss uh, about uh, the various uh, expressions for the tension in the strain so let us see students so let us find the tension in the strain tension in the string of a conical pendulum now we last time discussed that uh, in case of a conical pendulum that uh, this is the point of suspension and this is the height h this angle is theta this is the radius this is the length of the string and the tension developed is here t and we resolve this t into two components uh, the weight is down this component uh, is t cos theta this component is t cos theta this component is t sin theta now we will write this expression t cos theta as mg this will balance each other out and t sin theta provides a centripetal force that is mv square over r this is what we have done and then we went to find the time period of a conical pendulum now here i want to find this t t stands for the tension then how to find that i will square both the equations and add up because by doing so i will have sin square theta cos square theta which is 1 and t can be found so this is equation 1 suppose and this is equation number 2 so what i'm doing is squaring so to square it what will happen t square sin square theta left side and uh, the second equation this will be t square cos square theta because i am squaring and adding t square cos square theta this comes out to be this side uh, mv square by r and mg is there so mv square by r the whole square plus mg the whole square now i if i take t square common then inside it is sin square theta plus cos square theta which is 1 this is 1 and this is a uh, m square v square by r the whole square plus a uh, m square g square this becomes 1 and we'll have uh, t square is uh, this one m square v square by r the whole square plus m square g square okay now i will uh, take mc common and out now i have to simplify this expression because i know that uh, by dividing those previous equations here if i eliminate t here by dividing then i am getting tan theta v square by rg that we discussed last time okay that also if you want i'll write here this is suppose equation number i have not given this is equation number 3 we also know that from 1 and 2 equation first equation was t sin theta mv square by r second equation was t cos theta mg if i divide these two equations then what i'll get tan theta v square by r this is what we discussed in the last video so in place of uh, tan theta 
which is v square by rg and also from the triangle that we have seen in a conical pendulum that this is the length this is the angle theta this is h and this is your r tan theta from this triangle is coming out to be r over h r over h so i write here tan theta as r over h so from these two expressions v square by rg is r upon h so v square by rg is r upon h v square upon rg is r upon h that means uh, v square upon r v square upon r is uh, g r g will come here upon h okay so in place of v square upon r i will write here v square upon r as uh, g r upon h this uh, is equation number four put this in uh, put four in three that means this value i'll put here in this expression so i'll have t square on the left side m square m square v square over r the whole square which is this square g r over h the whole square plus plus m square g square if I open this up, this is m square g square r over h the whole square plus m square g square. So t square comes out to be this. Then uh, I will take m square g square common and uh, this will become t square m square g square common and uh, I am left with uh, r by h whole square here and 1 is here. So write 1 plus uh, r over h the whole square. This one. So from here I write t, t equals to under root of this value m square g square 1 plus r over h the whole square. This is the expression. And uh, if I take uh, m square g square and root out, this is mg the weight and under root of 1 plus r by h the whole square so this is the final expression for uh, the time period uh, the tension in the string so this t stands for the tension in string so finally what uh, we reached at is the expression for the tension in the string of a conical pendulum which comes out to the weight times the under root of 1 plus h r by h the whole square that means this formula can be used when uh, the radius r is given the height of the conical pendulum is given so that's all in this video thank you